Michael TV, I must stop and hooked up with a Trump supporter. What do I do? Thank you for your brave words, Clark. And welcome to CalTV's newest advice show, Phone a Friend, where we're going to take to the streets of Berkeley to get the students of Berkeley to answer your question. Let's see what they have to say and what advice they might be able to provide you with. Um, my friend accidentally hooked up with a Trump supporter. What should oh. she do and what would she do? Ooh, first she should ask if she's vaccinated, you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 and if, uh, if she's not, she, she should do that, mm -hmm. but uh, hey, it's all good, you know, there are people too, they're just misguided, I would show them where I'm coming from, and try to understand them, because right, I don't. Right. Um, I think the best situation moving forward is to probably, you know, hide the dead bodies, sweep <laughs> this under the rug, I think that my friend, uh, a metaphorical dead body. Yeah, okay. yeah, of just, course, just of course. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just checking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We, we're law-abiding citizens, okay. so. Okay, of course. Um, yeah, maybe just probably block that person on social media. Um, act like it never happened if somebody brings it up. Um, just say that, you know, the information's all wrong. Maybe we might have to write, like, a giant list of lies to be consistent. Really? Okay. I okay. think so. Got it, got it. Because I think that no matter what, if this information does go out, and no matter what the situation is, at the end of the day, you still hooked up with the Trump supporter. Mm -hmm. And just the general, you know, the overall media in America might not appreciate that. Don't beat yourself up for it because you're not responsible. And, you know, you move on, you learn from it. And maybe next time, now you, you learn from it. Ooh, mm. Trump supporter. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> what kind of Trump supporter? Like, there's levels to, tr there's okay. levels to this shit, so okay. like... Do they hate women? Are they racist? Mm. Like, what type of Trump supporter are they? You know, I think it matters a lot. Okay. Well, so, tell me about the types of Trump supporters. So, like, if you, like, walk to someone's house and they have a Saturdays for the boys flag. Uh-huh. Um, big red flag. Big red flag. Have uh, you ever owned a Saturdays for the boys flag? Or any item? Absolutely not. Have you? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, good, good oh, to know. Sh okay. Uh, oh, the one where it's like, virginity rocks. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've owned that before, okay. so I don't know if that's a great <laughs> I own that hoodie, so I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Um, if I personally were in that situation, I hooked up with somebody, and I found out that later they were a Trump supporter, I guess it depends on how um, my interaction with them had gone. If it was mostly right. positive, I would just be like, hey, so I found out <laughs> this thing about you, and I'm just, I just have a few questions. Mm -hmm. what, would, what would be the questions? <laughs> well, I would want to know, like... Are they, like, currently a Trump supporter? Because, you know, he's not running for office right. anymore. Um, so I'm, I'd be curious about where they're at in was the timeline of things. Yeah, Was it a phase? That's probably a good question to ask. I'd probably, yeah, ask them if they think that it's okay that um, women might want to marry women sometimes. Mm -hmm. Right, right. I might want to do that one day, and I right. care about my personal rights, and I don't want to have sex with somebody who doesn't care about my freedom. The highest stakes goal that we could ever achieve really? was to get to the place where we actually would listen to each other so much that we would say, let's agree to disagree, and thank you so much for teaching me about you and for teaching me what's important to you. And it's a really valuable thing to continue the conversation. And I would say, like, to just go. Just go. Like, life is too short to waste <laughs> it on people that, like, it's just not worth it. Like, go on and find something better that aligns with you and just go. Uh, run away for a few days. Um, to where? Maybe hide, hide out, cabin <laughs> in the woods, um, somewhere away. Uh, once the shame is gone, reappear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and immediately just liberal, everything. Learn how to listen. Mm -hmm. And learn how to be aware that another person has a different experience than her or him. And that there's an opportunity to learn both ways. And that the opportunity to speak with one another is actually pretty hopeful. It would just be a matter of having the vision to say, it's more important to be in relationship than to be right. If someone like started speaking to me in like a Donald Trump accent in the middle of sexual relations, I feel like I would, <laughs> I, would have a, a I would have a panic attack. I wouldn't even it wouldn't even be a turn off. I'd just freak out and have a panic attack. Um, what would you guys do? <laughs> Dude, I'd go ghost. Hell no, nah, I ain't with that. It's gonna mess yeah. up my reputation. Yeah, it's just a bad look. It's a bad look. I definitely have a lot of Republican Trump friends, and uh, and yeah, we vibe, but you know sometimes. It, I, I can play hardball, you know, just teasingly. Yeah, I, but yeah. at the end of the day, it's you got to show them the good example of being like a Democrat, and that's okay. not being, you know, um, the you know, not, being understanding, 
Yeah. Would you ever, do you think, be in like a committed relationship potentially with a Trump supporter? No.